film festivals like this really help showcase a lot of important cinema that would not be seen otherwise. Not everything is going to make it to the multiplex, not everything is going to be seen you know, on a big scale, but there's still important stories, important films we made. Storytelling is a fundamental part of social change work. It's often what shapes our frameworks, how we see the world. And so having something like PATH in the world that allows us to expand our framework affects how we act, how we vote, and then also in the power that we have as individuals and as collectives um, to make change in the world. This year's theme is the passage of time. PATH is going through a year of transition. I'm stepping into the role as festival director and Rob will be stepping into uh, his board chair position. So passage of time felt really significant to us this year because we're kind of looking at the past, present, and future of the Asian American movement. Someone in the audience today said that really reminded her of her father and it really touched her deeply. And that's the reason I want to make this movie is to tell stories for our community who don't very often see themselves represented on screen. The film is kind of about finding belonging. Um, when you're living in between cultural identities, I grew up Indian American, and I think I was trying to understand what it meant to be too Indian for certain spaces and too American for others. Being at a place like PATH is just kind of nice because there's a lot of people that sort of like get it, like they get the references, and it's, it's a different type of conversation. Most films about Vietnam are always through the lens of war. People always sort of push to the background. Either running through the jungles holding guns, or just kind of people in the background and not really present in the story. So with this film, I really wanted to make these people in the foreground, they're not holding guns, they're not running around through jungles, they're just people with real emotions, real thoughts, and real struggles just like anyone else in the world. It's our time, it's our opportunity to tell our own story instead of letting others do it for us. I think that there are just as many ways to be Asian American as there are Asian American people. It's really important that we're telling our own stories because we are the ones who know our own stories. It's pretty exciting what's happening right now. There's this cross-cultural pollination happening, not just within the Asian community, but with other communities, in particular other communities of color. It was really important for the audience to see that Asian American history and experience is extremely diverse. We have performers who have so many different feelings about their place in the world, and I wanted people to be able to get really nuanced understanding that we are so rich in experience. For the past five years, I feel like I'm still having to make this argument of like, no, there are a lot of really good Asian actors here. There are a lot of really good Asian musicians. There are a lot of really good Asian dancers. I feel like in the States we refer to it as a monolith, and yet there's so much diversity, there's so much richness. For PATH to open their doors, to welcome Asian American hip hop, to me, it's a win-win. The Film Fest brings in people who might not want to come to a Film Fest, but they'll give it a chance. What we want the audience to walk away from any performance with is just to feel the strength of the culture, you know what I'm saying? And like showing that we're proud in our skin, that we're happy to be on stage with the homies around us. We're not just talking about this. We're living out this culture every day and we're building this culture every day. It's very exciting right now. It feels like uh, things are moving towards the right direction. It feels like uh, Asian American talents, both in front and behind the camera, are being more re recognized and more supportive. When we first started programming films, the audience was pretty much siloed in terms of if it was a Chinese American film, it was only the Chinese American audience that came out. Nowadays, we have a film like Chinatown Rising. It says Chinatown in the name. And yet we have individuals who come from this incredible mixture of pan-Asian ethnicities, as well as other communities of color and the white mainstream individuals. If there's one thing that, that we gotta do to push the dialogue forward, we gotta believe that our stories can sell. You know, go to the Asian American Film Festivals, support other people's movies. If you see a good movie, tweet about it, talk about it, and as a community, we will be able to get more of these stories out on the screen. I will tell you the most important part of this festival, and that's the people. And when I say people, I'm talking about more than just filmmakers or film talent. I'm talking about people who come to the movies, people who come to the workshops, people who help us spread the word about our festival. It's everybody that's involved. It's the people. I guess what I see PATH doing in the future is, is exactly what it's doing now, which is elevating and highlighting and showcasing art. PATH is, is here to serve as a platform for Asian Americans to really connect with each other and to connect with the world. I want to see PATH continue to do that.